It's a way of life. It's how you live your life. That's the whole thing. There's a family of Orthodox churches, which is correctly called the Eastern Orthodox churches. There are 14 what we call autocephalous or self-governing churches throughout the world. But in this country, since it's a pluralistic country, uh, different ethnic groups have come here at different times. Uh, different Orthodox jurisdictions have been set up. The ethnicity. The faith is the same thing. We are united in the faith. We can go to each other's churches, receive communion. The clergy can serve with each other in the various churches. Basically, uh, in Orthodoxy, each of the various nationalities has a patriarch. Uh, but they are not like the Pope, what he called. The patriarch is one among equals, and the patriarchs themselves then elect an ecumenical patriarch who happens to sit in uh, Constantinople in Turkey. If you see uh, a bishop, he has a round piece called an engolpion. Um, they're beautiful pieces. It's not a, not a problem to say what a beautiful uh, engolpion or what a beautiful piece that is. Most Orthodox homes have what is called an icon corner. This is an area set aside for prayer and reflections. Most Orthodox homes do have an icon corner or a prayer corner, and um, those icons would or should certainly have been blessed and should be treated with the utmost respect. Orthodox Christians do not have three-dimensional statues or crucifixes with the body of Christ affixed but you will often see a clover design on the tips of the cross or three horizontal bars in the case of the Russian cross. Sister Jamila lights her candle. She whispers a prayer passed down to her through over 40 generations of her family. The rising smoke carries her prayer high into the heavens. She is a member of the original Christian church, started almost 2,000 years ago.
ਕਰਦੇ 